Hi, so we've reached our first example problem. Um, and so let's take a look at our problem statement and then let's go over to MATLAB and solve this problem in MATLAB. So in our first example problem, we are asked to write a MATLAB expression that evaluates the following math expression uh, given by uh, equation 1.1, where we're provided with values of mu, sigma, and x. And using these values of mu, sigma, and x, uh, the answer that we should get is 0.73. Six, five. Okay, so let's go over to MATLAB and see if we can do this. Okay, so now I am over in MATLAB uh, and I've kept the equation open in the uh, textbook so that I can see it and reference it uh, as we type it up. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the variables uh, mu, sigma, and x that we've been provided values with and I'm going to assign those values to variables. That way, when I go to write the actual expression, equation 1.1, um, the expression as I write it in MATLAB will look more like the expression uh, as it's written. And then it'll also facilitate, if we wanted to change values of those parameters, of what it would take to rerun the calculation. And we can look at an example of that. Okay. Uh, and then the note in the problem statement is, uh, you know, we have these Greek letters mu and sigma. So in my keyboard, there's no Greek characters, and so if you want to assign variables to Greek letters, uh, then the common practice would be to spell it out or use some sort of abbreviation or just uh, something else, maybe an English character. Okay. So first, okay, we're told that mu okay, um, is 2.2. Okay, So here I have a variable assignment where I want to take the value 2.2 and assign it to the target mu. I add a semicolon to the end of my line to suppress the output um, so that it doesn't display the screen. But if I look in my workspace, I see that mu is properly assigned the value of 2.2. Next comes sigma. Sigma is 0 0.5. Okay. And then comes uh, x. Um, we want to assign a value of 2 to x. So next is I go to perform the calculation. Okay. If I were to try and accomplish or perform this calculation all at once, um, the MATLAB expression would get rather lengthy. Okay, and so what I'll do instead is break it into parts. Okay, this will be nice. Uh, besides not having a super long equation uh, that could be hard to troubleshoot, um, it'll also help prevent me from making errors uh, with respect to order of operations. Okay, so first um, I'll start and I'll evaluate the denominator here. Right, that looks simple enough. Okay, so I'll take, um, or I'll compute the quantity of the denominator and store it to variable, say, denom, uh, representative of denominator. So the denominator is sigma times the square root of 2 times pi. Okay, where here I have uh, parentheses in the square root operation. So MATLAB will first perform 2 times pi, and then take the square root of that and multiply it by sigma. As I look in the numerator, okay, the first thing I might try and tackle is evaluating this term in parentheses uh, in this power uh, that will raise uh, e2. So I'll create a variable, say pow, corresponding to the first main part of that power. And I have x minus mu divided by sigma times the square root of 2, okay, where sigma times square root of 2 is in parentheses. Say I want to perform this operation, uh, then this operation divide that result by this one. And then last, uh, I should be all set to evaluate the desired expression, okay. So this would be the exponential exp negative pow squared divided by denom, the denominator. And the result of that calculation is 0 0.7365, which agrees exactly with um, what's provided in the problem statement. Okay. Excellent. So I mentioned uh, one benefit of assigning uh, values to variables, uh, besides just making the MATLAB expression look more like the mathematical expression on paper is um, we can you know rather quickly go and um, change the calculation so what if instead of mu of 2.2 .2, 
I wanted a mu of 6. So I just, you know, update the value signed to mu with 6. And then if I press up, I just want to go back and scroll through and reperform the calculations. Actually, I don't need to perform denom since it doesn't have mu in there. Mu just comes into pow, so I, if I reevaluate pow, then my final expression. So if I update mu to 6 uh, and reevaluate, uh, then we get an answer of 1.0105 times 10 to the negative 14, a very small number. Okay, And that wraps up uh, example 1.